वेन यू विजिट योर फेवरेट एप्स हैव यू एवर थॉट अबाउट कि क्या ये सिर्फ दिखने में अच्छी हैं और डू दे हैव अ वेरी पावरफुल फंक्शनलिटी वर्किंग राइट बिहाइंड दैम सो मैनी लर्नर्स सच एज यू हुआ बिगनर्स आर ऑफन कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन फ्रंट एंड एंड बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट दोनों में से ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट क्या है किस पे हमको ज़्यादा फोकस देना चाहिए पहले क्या करें फ्रंट एंड या बैक एंड If these questions are often coming in your mind, then this video is for you. Hey there, techies, and welcome back to the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel. I am Gaurav, and I work as a software developer at Coding Ninjas. In this video, we are going to focus on the key differences between front end and back end development. When I was development, chalu kar raha tha, I was usually very confused that I should front end focus on front end or back end. In front end, what tools are there? Back end, what tools are there? In the back end, how will we form an interaction? क्या मेरे को सिर्फ फ्रंट एंड पे फोकस करना चाहिए या सिर्फ बैक एंड पे दे इज वन सच थिंग एज फुल स्टैक वेब डेवलपमेंट एज वेल जहाँ पे वी यूटिलाइज फ्रंट एंड एंड बैक एंड बोथ साइमल्टेनियसली एंड वर्क एज अ डेवलपर तो इस वीडियो में हम देखेंगे एंड आई ऑल्सो शेयर सम ऑफ माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंसिस सो दैट यू बेटर अंडरस्टैंड विच टेक्नोलॉजी टू फोकस ऑन और इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू फोकस ऑन बोथ ऑफ देम दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी बिफोर वी डाइव डीप इन टू दिस वीडियो अगर आप इस चैनल पे न्यू हैं मेक श्योर दैट यू सब्सक्राइब टू द कोडिंग इंडियाज यूट्यूब चैनल एंड हिट दैट बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन स्टे अप्राइज विद ऑल द टेक अपडेट्स दैट वी ब्रिंग टू यू वीकली फर्स्ट लेट्स बिगिन एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट सिंपल वर्ड्स में अगर कहा जाए तो वेन यू विजिट अ वेबसाइट यू इंट्रैक्ट विद ऑल द फॉर्म्स एंड बटन्स ऑल दिस इज बींग हैंडल्ड बाई फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट we developers use mainly three languages so that we can build the front end of our website they are html css and javascript these three languages will ensure that everything on your website is working smoothly and in exactly the way you want it to using css hum apni website ko bahut attractive looking bhi bana sakte hain agar ek example le let's talk about netflix so when you visit netflix website the first form that opens up is the login form वहाँ पे आप अपना ईमेल डालते हैं यू एंटर योर पासवर्ड एंड यू नोटिस कि आपका पासवर्ड इवन यू कैन सी इट इट्स बीइंग रिप्लेस्ड बाय डॉट्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर बीइंग हैंडल्ड बाय जावास्क्रिप्ट एंड एच टी एंड सी एस एस वंस यू क्लिक ऑन लॉग इन एंड यू आर ऑथेंटिकेटेड यू एंटर द नेटफ्लिक्स वेबसाइट एंड यू सी सम ब्यूटिफुल कैराउजल्स शोइंग यू द लेटेस्ट मूवीज दीज कैराउजल्स आर बींग हैंडल्ड बाई जावा सबसे ऊपर यू ऑल्सो सी अ नेविगेशन पैनल विच हैज डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज ऑफ मूवीज सच एस horror or suspense or comedy that navigation is also being handled on front end so basically using front end you can make sure that your website is easy to navigate efficient and understandable for a new user also agar aapne notice kiya ho if you open this website on your desktop or your mobile there are very different views so this is also being handled on front end and the way to handle it is called putting responsibility in your in your website now let's flip the coin and talk about back end development so jaise your car works with an engine and you actually don't see the engine similarly you don't exactly see what's happening behind the website's curtain which is called the server side now this server side is being handled by back end development agar hum apne example ko continue kare so we did mention that we log in to the netflix website when you put in your email and your password and you request netflix to basically authenticate you authentication means ki netflix recognize kar raha hai who this user is using that it may even give you a lot of recommendations on the basis of the movies and the shows that you like all these recommendations your identity your email is being stored on databases and using backend all this information is being retrieved and displayed on your front end Backend developers use languages such as Python, Ruby, and JavaScript to write their code. So, if we are talking about Python, some of the uh, two of the most famous uh, frameworks would be Django and Flask. I personally prefer to use Ruby on Rails because it is very easy to learn and you can build your websites very quickly. Although two of the most efficient and efficient and widely used backend frameworks. would be spring boot and node js you can also check out our boot camp courses to understand how spring boot and node js actually work coding ninjas also conducts some master classes where you can understand how these frameworks actually work 
So to check out our courses and also register to the master class, please click on the link given in the description. Now let's talk about the key differences between front end and back end development. So हम जितना इस वीडियो को देख चुके हैं, we have understood that front end is being used for seamless interaction of your website. एक यूजर जब आपकी वेबसाइट पे आता है, what holds him and binds him to your website is the seamless user interaction and user experience. आपकी वेबसाइट जितनी ही अच्छी लगेगी, users would be more inclined to stay longer on your website. But जैसे-जैसे आपका user size या user space increase होता है, you also need to make sure that your website is able to handle that huge amount of load. This is where backend development comes into the picture. So using backend, you can make sure that your website functions properly and it fetches the user's data seamlessly from your APIs and your databases. So it doesn't just stop here. Both front-end and back-end development roles actually work hand-in-hand. A well-designed and good website is nothing without a very strong back-end and vice versa. So both these roles go hand-in-hand and you have to make sure that you have an expertise in both front-end and back-end development. First, of course, you can begin with front-end and then slowly build your skills in back-end development as well. Now, let's talk about the tools of the trade. When we talk about front-end development, we have already discussed that the three core technologies being used are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Aapki website ko structure dena, uspe ek font define karna, adding some backgrounds and creating a basic interaction between the user and the website is being handled by HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But that's not all. Apni front-end development ko faster and more efficient banane ke liye, what we can do is we can learn about some famous front-end frameworks. When we talk about front-end frameworks, the three prime examples that come to mind would be React, Angular and Vue. When we want to start front-end development, it's my advice that you can begin with, by learning React. React is backed and maintained by Meta. So it is one of the most powerful front-end frameworks that you can learn and hone your skills in this framework so that you are able to become a better front-end developer. On backend side, some of the most common languages used are Python, Java, PHP or Node.js. When you are a beginner and you want to learn a backend framework very quickly, my advice is you could begin with Ruby on Rails. But for long term, I would suggest that one of the most efficient frameworks is Node.js. You can also try and learn Spring Boot. Once you have understood which backend framework you want to use, you can move on to databases. Now, we have basically two types of databases. One is relational and one is document. When we talk about relational databases, we think about SQL and Postgres. And when we talk about document databases, we talk about MongoDB. So, depending upon how you want to build your website, what kind of data you want to maintain, you can choose between a relational or a document DB. Once you have created a and maintained your DB, you can start writing APIs so that your data is being fetched from your backend to frontend. Let's talk about the collaboration between a frontend and a backend developer. In this video, we have seen what are the key differences between a frontend and a backend developer, but let's talk about how they work on a single project simultaneously. So, the main job of a frontend developer is to create certain frontend components which the user will interact with. We were talking about a login screen where we enter our email and our password and we click on the login button. Once the login button is clicked, the front-end developer calls an API which sends your data to the backend for some logical analysis or storage purposes. This logical analysis and storing of that data is being done by a backend developer. We have also talked about Git and versioning in, uh, on our projects in our previous videos. So front-end and back-end developers, they do make sure that they know how to use Git and GitHub. So even if you choose to work only on front-end or on back-end, you have to make sure that you learn how to use Git and GitHub so that you can work in a collaborative team environment. So now the question on your minds might be, कि मैं एक्चुअली क्या बनूं एक फ्रंटेंड या एक बैकेंड डेवलपर 
Now the answer lies on your skills and on your strengths. So if you like to design, if you like to work on interactive user experiences, front-end development might be your calling. Ya fir, if you want to work with data, if you want to work with servers and write logics, and if you are interested in a lot of problem solving, back-end development might be your calling. If I talk about my own experience, मेरे को दोनों front end and back end development में काफी ज़्यादा interest था. I found both of them equally challenging and equally rewarding. So for people like me, there is another path that you can follow, which is a full stack web developer. A full stack web developer will work simultaneously on front end and back end, so that he can ensure seamless interaction for his user when he visits his website. So there you have it. This video was all about the key differences between a front end and a back end developer and understanding what a full stack role actually entails. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to share this video with your friends. Agar aap already ye nahi kar chuke, please also make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you are introduced to more such videos and you can learn much more about front end and back end combined.